Now, back to November 6th. November 6th is daylight savings time. Aren't they getting rid of that? I think this is our last one that really? we have. Yep. With that being said, what happens on daylight savings time in November? We lose an hour of sunlight. We lose an hour of sunlight. Why is that important for us this time of year? I usually call this time of the year separation season. Really, you really find out who is actually just interested in this job and who's committed. So with one less hour of sunlight, most people are scared to knock past dark. So they go, the sun went down. It's time to go home. You're going to have to get out of that right now. Sun's going to start setting at 4, 4, 30. 35 o'clock and that's as most of you guys know that's prime time that's when everybody's getting home from work so you really can't let the the sun decide your work schedule no one decides our work schedule but us we're 1099 contractors definitely making sure you're getting comfortable knocking in the dark now is going to help you come november 6th so i challenge all of you guys that are out there make it a point and you can slowly ease into it because if you go full force it might be a little bit harder but ease into like knocking in the dark for 30 minutes and then 45 minutes and then an hour or you can do a door count um in the dark but something that you can track yourself and it makes it easier but it's something you will need to get used to. You're either going to step up or step out this time of the year. So like I said, separation season, it's huge. We're going to find out who truly wants this job, who's going to hit their goals and who's going to go by the wayside. We're also going to figure out who the leaders are. The leaders are the ones who are going to go out and lead from the front and show the team what, what they're capable of. And they're not going to be scared of the sun setting. So if you see yourself in this company for a long time, you see yourself as a leader, that's something huge we're going to look at, out for come November, December. Is, are you getting out there in the dark? Are you knocking the hours? Yeah. Leaders emerge every winter, don't they? they at the do. end of winter. And it's so important to remember Remember that it's not late, it's just dark. So this is the time when you go to the people's houses and it's dark outside. It's important that if they're thrown off because it is dark at six o'clock and they might think it's late, that you address that as an occupation breaker right off the bat. You just say, hey, look, can you believe it's only six o'clock? Gosh, it feels like it's nine out here. Make a joke out of it. We have light up lanyards that everybody should have in their office locations. I recommend wearing those in the dark when you're out there knocking and just have fun. It's my favorite time to knock personally because you can see who's home by the lights on inside their house. So keep an eye out for that and uh, have fun with it. And this is really when the girls, it separates the girls from the women and the, the boys from the men. 100%. Dallin Andrews told us that when I very first got into solar. Oh yeah. And it's so true. This is when the ballers are going to rise up and it's important right now, this time of year is when it's comfortable and it's probably in everybody's nature to take your foot off the gas pedal. And you can't do that. This is the time of the year to put your foot all the way down because you need the momentum starting right now in October to push you through the winter. Would you agree with that? Momentum's everything. 100%. I mean, momentum is hard to gain, but easy to maintain. So once you get it, you got to ride it. Cody didn't even really touch on this, but the reason it's my favorite time of the year is there's no other companies out there. So Oregon might not have to deal with this as much, but this time of the year, you know, we're the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 25th freaking person to knock on these people's doors. In the winter, no one's ever saying you're the third person today. There's a lot softer doors. It's my best month ever was in February. It was negative degree weather. Mm -hmm. The only difference between me and a lot of the other guys is they got comfy underneath a blanket watching TV while I went outside and I became a professional trick or treat. I went out and started knocking on doors for thousands of dollars. So this is where you're going to find out, guys, if you are committed or if you're just interested. And believe you, like if you don't want to admit that to yourself, us leaders will see it because we've been in this job long enough to know who wants it and who doesn't. 100%. And prior to February being your best month, I think November was. Yeah. November's always been one of my top months it's for self-gens. It's just no one's really out there. It's right before the holidays. Mm -hmm. People are like getting ready for their families to come in. I will admit like two, three days before Christmas is probably, it's usually tough. But before Thanksgiving is like, it is trick-or-treating. You are literally trick-or-treating people are happy to see you they're getting ready to go on a little vacation they actually have time now it's not summer it's not crazy the kids are at school they can make time for things like this but they don't get to talk to a ton of people at that time of the year so the best people to catch during november december january are those new homeowners um they haven't had anybody knock on their door they're first time homeowners and we're going to be the one who gets them and believe me if you don't go put the work in this winter somebody else will there are other companies that do knock year round we just happen to be one of the most prominent ones because we don't take our foot off the gas pedal in the winter we are not a summer program we are a year-round program and that's why we really enforce building the whole person and teaching you guys how to habit stack so that way you guys can maintain and you guys don't burn yourselves out because burnout is a real thing if you don't have the proper routine or way to maintain it. So we're going into the best time of the year. It's just what you tell yourself. No matter what you tell yourself, you're always right. I always tell myself it's the best time of the year and that's why I always get high numbers during this time of the year. Love it. And this time of year typically is when we run the most amount of incentives and competitions throughout the year. Keep an eye out. There will definitely be some stuff coming up for sure the 13th month, which is the 26th through the first week of January, 
right after Christmas time, de December. Everybody's home, they're relaxed, their family's starting to leave town, they've just done a lot for other people, and it feels good for them to do something for themselves, and it's the easiest time of the year. We call it the 13th month, because we can typically do as many sales in those two weeks as we would in a typical month. We make it rain for the 13th month incentives. Oh, yeah. And, and, so, and the, t the 10 deals of Christmas, or 12 deals, 10, 10 or 12, whichever one it is. I waited to fly home so I could get all my incentives last year, because they were good. They were worth it. Yeah, let's go.